Hi, this is Hongshu from MotionCircles.com. In today's video, I'll teach you how to do this animation in After Effects. Without further ado, let's get started. This original animation is done by Fafa Motion. We're only taking his animation and made a twist to it. We're here to show you some of the techniques that's used in this animation. If you want to learn more, please go to the link in the description to check out our Motion Circles project file shop. So let's get started. Let's create a composition. Let's change it to 1920 by 1080. 30 frames per second for 15 seconds. Click OK. First, let's create a circle with a gradient color, just align the circle to the center of our composition. Go to gradient. This is gonna be the grayscale that we want. We just want to make sure this black color is on the top left corner and then the white is on the bottom right corner. This is gonna be our circle. And then we're gonna animate the scale property from 60 to all the way to 170. And then we're gonna also animate the rotation so this is going to be the rotation that we have. The circle is turning to the left while growing up in size. And this is the animation we have. Now we just duplicate the circle, Command D, and then go to CC Light Sweep. We're gonna, and then we're going to animate this Light Sweep effect. For the Light Sweep effect, let's change the direction to negative 200. And then let's change the width to 100. Edge intensity, let's change it to 150. And let's change the light reception to cutouts. If I animate the direction, you can see there should be a light that's going through my circle like this. And if I set the keyframe over here, just to have the highlight travel along my circle like this. And then we're also going to increase the width of the highlights. Now this is going to be our light sweep animation. After we have this, let's go to make another composition, call this one Highlight Map. Let's change to 1080 by 1080, click on OK. Now we need to make a map from a sphere. So we're going to go to New Solids, let's change it to a dark gray color. And then let's also add another solid. This time let's make this one into a white color lighter gray and then let's go add a mask let's change the mask to subtract and then change the feather a little bit you know what i need to make the mask into add instead of subtract let's invert this one that looks better next let's drag a rectangle like this and then we're gonna go to give it a linear gradient from black to darker gray and then to a white color. Let's drag this one. We need to animate the start and end point. Let's go for 30 frames and then let's just drag this end point out like this. So this is gonna be my animation here. Let's do a easing to it. That's fine. Let's go add in my light map into my working comp. Then let's add in the CC sphere effect. CC sphere. That's good. And now we just need to change some settings, make it bigger. And then for the light, let's change it to zero to make it pure dark. And then let's go to shading ambient. We can tone it all the way up to 150 to make it brighter like this. And then the diffusion, change it to zero. And then this setting doesn't matter. Reflective, change to 50, so it can reflect more light. This is gonna be my sphere. And then all we need to do is to animate the Y rotation property so that we have the sphere that's turning like this. So let's add a keyframe on the Y position. Go forward 20 frames. Let's say this is the end value. And then we're gonna just drag this one all the way back to maybe 90 degrees. At the beginning, we're gonna have the circle like this. And then the circle is gonna go and come back like this. However, with a dark background, it's really hard to see. So we need to add a gradient background. So let me add a 
gradient gray background. That looks good. And then I also need to ease the keyframes over here. Let's go to easy ease. Let's do a curve like this. Before we continue, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. We will publish new content every week. You can also join our exclusive community to hang out with motion designers to grow together. Check the link in the description below. Let's click on this layer and then let's pre-comp this one, call it sphere. Now we have the sphere layer. We have the light map that's animated inside this composition. And now we need to animate the rotation property of this composition to give it some 3D rotation. And uh, all we need to do is let's go to rotation, hit a keyframe. Let's go for 30 frames. And then let's change the rotation to minus one round. And let's add a anticipation. So at the beginning, let's go for a couple of frames. Let's change it to 30 degrees. So there is an anticipation. Let's go select the three keyframes. Right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Go to the graph editor. We can drag the curves and let's see what it looks like. I might need to change this keyframe forward a little bit. So we have a smooth easing curve like this. And now you can see our sphere is animating like a Fox 3D sphere. And now all I need to do is to go to scale property, maybe make it smaller. Let's go duplicate this one. I need to duplicate a couple layers so that we have a array of the same animation. Let's go duplicate this one, command D. And then let's do maybe seven on one row. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're gonna have seven spheres in one row. Let me do this, change the first one and the last one and then select everything. Let's go to, let's go to windows and then let's go to align. And within the align, we have the horizontal distribution. After we hit this one, we have an array of these different spheres lining up in a row. That looks pretty good. And then let me duplicate it again, make a second row like this and then duplicate again, make a third row like this. Let me select everything, put it in the center. And the next thing I want to do is to just basically rearrange it so that the middle one is coming up the first and then these four spheres next to the middle one is coming up at the second. And I'm going to have a couple of frames delay between these animations. So I'm going to select the first one. This is going to be my first sphere that comes up. Let's go forward, maybe three frames, one, two, three. And then let's select these four, move them three frames forward to delay it. And then let's go for three frames again. One, two, three, select these ones, delay it. And then one, two, three, delay them. And the final four spheres. Now this is our animation for now. We have this first animation and then becomes a sphere, an array of sphere. That looks pretty good. And the next thing I want to do is let's me Let's go to layer new and then add a null object. I want this null to control the size of all the spheres. So I need this null to be right in the center, which it is right now. And then let me select all my spheres, parent all my spheres to the null object. And then in the null object, once everything lands over here, I kind of want it to scale everything up so that we can do a scale property. Let's add a keyframe here, go forward three frames, one, two, three, maybe four frames, add a anticipation, change it to 80% and then go forward another 15 frames to zoom it all the way up to, let's say, really big, like this one. So now let's go to keyframe assistant, easy ease. Let's change the curve a little bit to make it smoother. Something like this. And I also want the animation to happen before everything settles. Okay, that's my zooming out animation. However, the problem is I want all these spheres to stay the same size while being zoomed out. Meaning like I'm using null object to control the scale of the sphere. However, I don't want each sphere to zoom up like this. I want it to keep the same scale as before. So in order to do that, we need a expression to do that. This expression is shared by JR Kness in one of his live stream videos. I've put the link in the description. If you want to check more, you can go to that video and to see the full tutorial from JR Kness. And for us, we just want the spheres to maintain the scale while being scaled up overall by the null object. 
So this is a script that we have. Let's just copy this one. Command C, preserve scale when resizes. Let's go to After Effects and then let's go inside the scale property. Hit Option and then click on the stopwatch at the expression in Command V. Okay, and now we have this expression. Now we just need to right click and then click on copy expression only. Let's go to the rest of the sphere, hit S on the keyboard. I need to click on all these scale properties of each sphere. And then let's go to edit, paste. Now we have pasted the expression on all of these scale properties. You can see it turned a red color on the values. And now if I preview the animation, this is what we get. Everything is being zoomed up while maintaining the scale of the sphere. And that's what we like. That looks pretty cool. And the next move I want to have is I want to add some variations within my sphere animation. So let's go to the original project from Fafa. Let's add in a couple of other variations from his project. Here we have this circle coming in become this shape here. If I go inside, we have these geometric animation that's controlled within this composition. These are all the different layers and groups that's being animated. So for now, I'm not gonna go into too much details. Let's just copy this animation. Let's go outside and then let's copy this composition. Let's go back to our sphere. So our sphere animation is stopping over here. And once it stops, once it zooms out, I want to go inside the sphere and copy and paste in this animation over here. So let's see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like after we add in that second half of the animation. That looks pretty cool. And I just want to maybe give it another rotation controlled by the null object. Let's hit R on the keyboard. I'm gonna control the scale over here. And then once I change it to the next shape, I'm gonna control the rotation over here. Just add in some rotation, maybe like go back as anticipation and then move forward to change it to 90 degrees. And then I'm gonna copy the three keyframes. Let's go to my ease copy, copy the influence, and then let's go to paste it onto these values over here. And now all I need to do is to go inside and then copy this composition and go outside. So we're gonna have this animation and then it's gonna rotate. And then we're gonna have this composition right over here in the center to animate with the rest of the animations. So if I cut it five seconds, this is our full animation. I want this big one to cut in around here. Maybe let's also add some scale property on this null again, like this. Yeah, I like how it looks now. There you go, that's how we animate this short geometric animation. That's it with this video. Hope you liked it and learned a couple of tips and tricks for our next project. Let me know if this video is helpful in the comments down below and what other videos or tutorials you'd like to see on this channel. Don't forget to join our exclusive Discord community to hang out with fellow designers. Stay on top of industry trends and grow together. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.